I can see you right now. I don't talk smoking loud. I cannot pipe down. I know that they wonder how I move in this position. They burn a lot of lonely nights. Trap shoes and decisions. Just dropped your new album, React. Um, it's available on all streaming platforms. And what was the process behind this particular album? Because you dropped some singles before, but this is like your first album. Yeah, like EP, like the process. Just been like, uh, basically, man, I just want people to uh, see like a little piece of body of work from me so they can see how everything sounds together as one and just show people like different versions of uh, different styles that I can do too. You know what I mean? Just like, just really tell them what I had on my mind, you know what I mean? So you really didn't want to box yourself in? Right. Do you feel like, as an artist, do you feel yourself getting boxed in? No, not really. I just feel like, you know what I mean? You got obstacles you gotta kinda get over. You know what I mean? It's like, it be problems, like in the area, like being in a small city. You know what I mean? Trying to just put yourself out there like that. But you got the internet now, so things change. And before we even shot this, we spoke about that. And you deleted your social media and you came back um, with organic followers. So why did you delete your social media? Like, why did you want to start over? Because I just wanted to, um, I wanted to make sure everything was organic and real because you need real engagements and all that. And I done been dealing with all kind of promoters and people who've been telling me I should do certain things certain ways. And I just ain't I know. So I want to do everything my own way and my own strategy and brand myself how I want to do it instead of listening to everybody else. And how is that working out for you? It's working out great, shit. Wonderful now. You know, I got my own fan base. I can actually talk to my people, you know what I mean? And I ain't got nobody really influencing me no type of way. So that's all coming from me. And I ain't signing nobody. I ain't got nobody influencing, just, they just me and my niggas and me and my dogs. We just all trying to do this shit together. I can see you right now. I don't talk smoking loud. I cannot pipe down. I know that they wonder how I move in this position. They burn a lot of lonely nights. Trap shoes and decisions. Yeah, I can see you right now. So how important is it to have a team that is like 100% supporting you, making sure you're doing the right thing, and even to have some no men on your team? Because I feel like a lot of teams out here, it's a lot of yes men. So do you think you have any no men on your team? You said, but I think I have any no man. Somebody who's going to be straight up with you and be like, nah. Come on, that's crazy. Bed. That's crazy, man. You got to, like, that's the only type of people I surround myself with. You, if, I feel like if you can just sit there and tell me everything sound good all day long, mm -hmm. I can't really fuck with you. Right. I need my, I need my niggas to be like, hey boy, that shit they flying. You gotta do better on that. Oh, you fucking up. Your you should your pockets ain't right because you dealing with that bitch. Oh, you got this going on. So you gotta be a hundred to be around me. Absolutely. That's why my circle's small. You feel me? I don't, I don't travel with too much people, man. People stab you in the back. People kill you. And with the album, I heard some tags for some super producers. So what was it like just working with other producers, reaching out to, out to them? And did you, did you work with anybody locally? I mean, honestly, when it comes down to that, I like, I got my producer being our productions. And for the most part, like, I like just to work with him. Mm -hmm. But like, every now and then, like, I step outside the box. Like I said, that's been like a project I've been doing to try to step outside the box and let people feel like different type of size and you know see what I got going on and also then work with other producers you see what I'm saying but like coming up in the future like mainly I can just gonna be working with my producer being our production you know for the mo most part unless I see somebody who really putting in work because a lot of times you get a producer 
and they don't work as hard with you like they work with their own artists. So right. I think it's kind of like, you know, you just email them, you get the beat from them, and everything over that internet just kind of ain't no vibes, man. That's mm -hmm. why I kind of keep my own little crew. I ain't trying to be a part of nobody, nothing. We starting our own wave, man. We starting a whole new wave. So in 2018, you dropped Jealousy. You got like 50,000 views on Instagram alone. Then you came back with Hold Up and Right Now. So do you think now, like back then, what's the difference between then and now? Like you just say, all right, I'm gonna drop an album now. Cause you had like heat behind you with a lot of people interacting and a lot of people sharing it. So like, what, why didn't you just drop it then? Like I say, I didn't know. I just been doing what people was telling me to do. It's a difference. So if you happen to get a bunch of views and go viral or whatever, like you don't, you ain't had no goal. I was just, you know, doing music for fun, you know. Now I kind of understand the business and I kind of understand like, all right, there's certain things you got to put in place. You got to have a team behind you. So like, for instance, you got to have a cameraman with you. Make sure he's great and he good to get video clips and all that. You got to have your engineer to make sure you sound good. Cause you can't go to everybody's studio and they know how to mix your sound down the right way. So I just I just learned like you gotta have a team, you can't do it by yourself. Period, you know what I mean? And I just going back to the drawing board and just that's what we come up with. Like you just gonna put something out to see how the people feel and see what they like and what they don't. I'm gonna trust the stars stepping on toe to see who hard, who hard. I'm gonna catch you off your guard. I will cook and fans cause I don't need no body. And after listening to the album, because you know, I'm obviously I work at the radio station. So when I listen to music, I'm listening for something that I can listen to a radio that I can listen to on the radio and be like, all right, this could work. And for me, that would be from the bottom um, off your album. So what is your favorite song from your album? Do you have a favorite from your album? The whole thing? Yeah, no. No, I mean. How you ain't got a favorite from your I own mean, album? Because to be real, like. Just for sitting down, if the, the favorite song from the album for me would be What's the Problem? Because it's just like, why talk about a story? It's like a story. Mm -hmm. So like that would be like me saying what's my favorite story. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, that is my life. Like some stories, it might sound good to y'all, but it's just like a story, man. It might even going through something, you know what I mean? So, but like, just feeling wise, I'll say what's the problem? Just for the simple fact that I like I, I just trying to go I've been trying to go in a different direction like I'm trying to like better myself with that song mm -hmm. you know what I mean so it just felt like that song like kind of helped me elevate myself Loose soul going crazy what's the problem what's the problem baby mama thinks I'm not a good father every move I make I do this for my daughter I know niggas who hate me cause I don't fall Five songs long. So with it being that short, does this mean we're gonna get more music from you? Oh yeah. Yeah, I got a lot of music, man. I got a lot of music. I got some shit coming up. I ain't dropped yet with Slug, Slugger Room coming up. I got some shit that I ain't dropped yet with Fly Guy, AOY. I got a lot of shit just in the chamber right now. And that's why I wanted to, you know, just basically just come holler at everybody and let them know like we got work. We coming with pressure. We ain't trying to be like nobody else. We ain't trying to copy nobody else. We bringing a whole new style, a whole new wave, and a whole new concept. You know what I mean? I ain't got to be on Instagram live and all that. When I come, it's going to be strictly about business and music. You feel me? All that other clout chasing shit, I ain't with it. We ain't about to do none of that funny shit. We coming y'all straight directly to give out good music, and that's it. 
You know what I mean? It's supposed to be from the heart and soul. All I, I did, it, it, it oversaturate the market, man. I don't want to hear it, man. So you ain't gonna see a lot of videos of stupid, going all kind of crazy shit. But when I drop, when we drop, you gonna feel it. That's it. So do you have any other artists with you, or is it just you right now getting off? Or how's it, what's the team looking like? Man, the, the whole squad right now, we got Beast Music. Mm -hmm. You know, that's our group. You see what I'm saying? We all work together, but we all independent and do our own thing. You know what I mean? We got L.Y., we got Slugger Rome, you got me, you got B&R Production, we got producers in there. We, got, we just got so many different people that's down with the team, whether it's affiliates or whether they really, you know, up under us, you know, young too. We got low, you feel me, up and coming low fellas, they in school right now, they're trying to do their thing too. So we just got a whole new way we just trying to bring right now. You see what I'm saying? So. Y'all gotta just stay tuned in. You gotta stay tuned in and be ready because we coming. Hey, so what else can, well, where can the people follow you? Where can they find your music? Where can they download, react, all that good stuff? Well, right now, it's on all social media. It's on all like streaming platforms, Spotify, iTunes. You just type my name and shit. You can just type my name in Google, Kilo the Beast, and like everything will pull up YouTube, react on YouTube, react on, Anything you could think of. And real quick, because we still got to play my game. So, pretty much, I'm going to give you a word. It can be, like, hot. You got to think of a song that goes with the word hot. So you got, like, this is why I'm hot. Mims. So, you ready? You got 10 seconds. It's only five words. Shy. Are you prepared? Your first word is summer. What song has the word summer in it? You got 10 seconds. Summertime. Summer, uh, summer, summer. Hey, t all right. That's what I had down. Yeah. I know y'all cheat behind me. No, ain't nobody cheating. All right. <laughs> so the next one is drink. What word got the song drink in it? Drinking my cup. Okay, damn, we good at this. All right. Uh, next one, money. Money, money, money. Down, all about the Benjamins. Okay, I'll get that one. And last one, house. Damn. Five, four, three. I know. <laughs> oh, cool. Look at the band draws. The house is not a home. Oh, man. You going. <laughs> but yes, I enjoyed this interview. Make sure you are following Cute Little Beast on social media. Make sure you download the album React and yeah, get ready. Anything else you want to add? Man, just stay tuned, man. We coming, man. It's a whole new wave, man. Just be ready. That's it. I know what's up. Why you worry about my life and I ain't really got that much. Talking shit to the next man, talking about some such and such. Ain't got nobody, no one to run to. I'm disappointed. Who can I talk to?